My name is Kayla, and welcome to Church at Home. This month, we're going to be talking about Jesus and how he is our friend. I'm going to pass it over to Nikki to explain more about Jesus being our friend looks like. Let's check out what she has to say. Hey everyone, my name is Nikki. I'm so excited to be with you this week as we kick off our new series all about Jesus. We're going to look at who Jesus spent time with during his life on earth and all the awesome things that he showed them about being a good friend. Because who doesn't want to be a good friend? In fact, today we're going to learn that when we're friends with Jesus, he shows us selfless love. What does selfless love have to do with being a good friend? Well, don't you worry, we'll discover that together because love is an important thing. So important that it reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses, John 13, 34. It says this, So now I'm giving you a new commandment, love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Before we talk about it, let's sing it out. So now I'm giving you a new commandment Love each other Just as I have loved you You should love each other So now I'm giving you a new commandment Love each other Just as I have loved you You should love each other Love each other So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Love each other. For something to be a commandment, it must be pretty important. And what do you think? Is loving someone easy? I love a lot of people, but there's another part to that verse. Jesus says to love like him, and Jesus loved selflessly. So let me ask you this. What about loving the other team when they win a game? Or loving someone by giving them the better seat or bigger piece of dessert? Or loving someone that is mean to you or talks bad about you? Is it easy to love them? Maybe not as easy as you might have thought. Real, selfless love like Jesus isn't always so easy. But a guy named John, one of Jesus' very best friends, wrote a letter about love. Through this letter, we'll see the kind of selfless love that we can show because Jesus loved us selflessly. When we're friends with Jesus, he shows us this kind of love and is an example of how we can show love to others too. Ready to see what I'm talking about? Let's check out this Bible story. Slapstick Theater. John's letter about love. This is John. He there. John was a disciple of Jesus. He heard Jesus' teaching huh. Hi, yeah. and saw how much Jesus loved people. Wow. John spent the rest of his life telling others about Jesus. John wrote letters to people who believed in Jesus to encourage them and teach them. Hmm. In one of his letters, he wrote about real love. He said that we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us, so we should do the same for others. 
If someone has enough money to live well and sees another in need but doesn't help, uh, yeah. how can God's love really be in that person? John said, let's not merely say that we love each other, but let's show our love for people through our actions. Wow, how do we recognize real love? We see it because of Jesus. Jesus showed us the ultimate example of selfless love when he died on the cross for our sins. He gave up his comfort and did something he didn't want to do because he loves us. To love other people selflessly like Jesus, sometimes we have to give up things too. You do that to show God's love to others because you know how much he loves you. Jesus is such a great friend and he's a great example for us of how to be a good friend too because what even makes a good friend? I know two guys that would say that they are best friends and they've got this cool new show called Versus where each week they'll go toe to toe to see who will come out on top. Let's check it out and see what more we can learn about being a good friend. What's up everyone? My name is Cameron and I'm Tabor. We're best friends but we never let that get in the way of some healthy competition. In order to settle who's the best once and for all, we're gonna go toe to toe in our new series, Versus! Today, we transform part of our studio into our very own Mario Kart track. Yahoo! We'll be playing the game on our Nintendo Switches, but instead of playing one of those normal maps, we'll be racing on our own custom course. These miniature go-karts have a camera attached to the back, which will create a virtual reality track before our very eyes. So before we get started, we need to flip a coin to see who it's gonna be Mario, Mario. and who's gonna be Luigi. Luigi! Heads is Mario. Tails is Luigi. All right. Here we go. I'll do the flipping. Yaha! Heads it is. Mario time. I'm going to be Mario. Woo! I love Luigi. Yes. Now that we know our characters, let's head on over to the race track. Let's go, baby. Woo! Woo! What's up, guys? Here we are. We have the Mario Kart race going on, and the track is wrapped up all the way around us. Cameron, what are we doing? Basically, I'm Mario, you're Luigi. We got three laps, whoever comes in first wins the gold. Let's get it! Let's get it, baby! Here we three, go! Two, one, go! go! All right, out of my baby way. Baby Yoda! Whoa, oh, dude! Gosh. Okay. Start drifting here. Uh, I don't think so. That's right. Better watch oh, out for baby. my... I've oh, got to see you! I've got to see you! Woo! Oh, where'd you go? I'm too fast for you. Yeah, not too fast when I get yeah, too fast. Red bullet. Watch. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my goodness! It hit the other red bullet. What's up, Yoda? Watch out. What's up, Yoda? Baby Yoda in the way. Classic, baby Yoda. Uh, whoa! Oh no! Doing donuts. Woo! No! I recovered too fast, Roger. Oh! Got you with the lightning. All right, I'm dizzy. I can't see. I'm blurry. Call me Lightning. Queen, baby. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. That's right. Call me Mr. Consistent. You are so far ahead of me. <laughs> it's called It's just called winning. What did I just yeah. say? Yeah, I you just, just hit you. Me. I just hit you, buddy. Woo! Here you better watch out. Oh, now. I'm slipping! Okay. Are you slipping now? Nope. All right. No! I'm going to win. I'm going to win. No, no, win it! Oh, no! Hey, that was awesome. Let's check out that instant replay, how oh, I finished first. Play. Mario number one. Yo, what's up? So we're back here in the Versus studio. Tabor lost this week, so he has to come up with a plan for next week. Tabor, pick something a little bit more challenging, bro. Love you, bro. You know, that makes me think I clearly won today's Versus challenge but I could have easily just lost two. It's got me thinking, winning and losing isn't what makes a good friend, right? The best friendships have give and takes. Maybe think of it this way. Think about the best friend that you've ever had. What made them such a good friend? Were they kind? Maybe they were funny, encouraging. Did you guys always get along? Were you able to figure out ways to get along even when you disagreed? Did they ever do something to get you something because they wanted to show you how much they cared? Tabor 
has a bunch of amazing qualities. But in the end, we're such good friends because we look out for one another. Yeah, I mean, we, we like the same things and we laugh at the same jokes, but it's way more than that. And I imagine that's the same thing for you and your friends. When we read about Jesus in the Bible, it might not always seem like we have as much in common with him. For starters, he lived a perfect life, something that no one else has ever done. But he also lived in a very different time and a very different place. His life looked a whole lot different than ours in the 21st century. But in the end, none of those differences matter. Jesus is the best friend we will ever have because he understands us better than any other friend ever will. He knows our hearts and despite our flaws, he loves us selflessly. He would do anything for us. In fact, he did. Jesus performed the ultimate selfless act by dying for our sins. We will never be able to be as good as a friend as to someone as Jesus, but we can still follow the examples he set for us. We do that by loving selflessly, which means we show love without expecting anything in return. We put other people first, like when we give food to someone who's hungry, or maybe we can donate clothes or toys to people who need them or don't have any. We can also help our neighbors that need a little help around the house, maybe pick something up in the yard or some trash in our neighborhoods, and we can ask people how they are doing, and if they need prayer, we can definitely pray for them. Jesus will always love us selflessly and put us first. And by following his example, we can do the same thing for our friends. So this week, see what ways you can practice selflessness with those around you. Whoa. Okay, Tabor, did you find out what we're gonna play next week? Throne home. Is that all you're gonna give us for right now? Oh yeah. So come back next week and check it out. Okay, well you've heard it here first. Next week, we're gonna be playing Throne home. home. We'll see you guys next week. Best two out of three, you're on. Again, recap from today, winning or losing isn't what is most important about being a good friend. At the end of the day, it's showing your friend that you care, and that's what Jesus did. He loved selflessly, not expecting anything in return. Let's be real, this isn't easy to do. But with God's love, we can do much, much more than we could ever think or imagine. Let's pray together now. God, you love us so much that you sent your son Jesus to walk as we do and die on the cross for our sins. Holy Spirit, this week, please help us love each other selflessly, just as Jesus did. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Oasis Kids, so good to see you. We'll see you next week. Bye.